Okay, so today's video, what we're gonna do is be shooting longbows through a chronograph. So this machine will tell us how fast our arrow is going. And what, how it tells us that is it's gonna be feet per second. So it could be 150 feet per second, could be 145 feet per second. But the reason I'm making this video is to demonstrate that all longbows are not created equal. So different techniques and different materials that are used in bows can make a big difference. So none of these bows are gonna blow you away and make the other one look bad or anything like that. But I do wanna show you some differences and uh, just explain them. Okay, so this was the first nice longbow I ever bought. It is a Martin Savannah. It's 62 inches long and it is 60 pound pull. It's all a one piece longbow and it's made out of solid wood. And um, I'll shoot it and I'll explain why it does what it does. And uh, this is a good bow. It is a great bow. It's accurate and it's really, really quiet. It might not be the most efficient, but it is uh, it's a pleasure to shoot. And uh, let's see what kind of speeds we get. So we got 144 feet per second. That's not right. Something went goofy there. All right, so we got 145. So 144, 145, that's about what this bow shoots. 60 pounds and these arrows weigh 525 grains. Now those of you that follow me know this is my hunting bow. This is a big stick assassin. It has a G10 riser built into it. So that's slightly stiffer than wood. I believe it's a composite. And in my opinion, it makes the bow faster and quieter. So we're dropping four pounds on this bow. So we're down to 56 pounds at 28 with this bow. But we should see a slight improvement in speed because of that G10 riser. Let's see what we get. One forty nine. One forty seven. And uh, let's leave it at that. So let's round that to one forty eight. So we actually dropped poundage, but yet our arrow is going faster. That's because of a G10 riser built into this bow. So this is a one piece long bow. Um, but again, it has that G10 riser, big stick of sass. So now we're on to a third bow. And this is a three piece Acadian Woods tree stick. And again, we're gonna drop weight down. So we're going down to 53 pounds at 28. So it's seven pounds easier to pull than this one. Three pounds easier to pull with this than this one. But this one has carbon built into these limbs. So that should give it a little extra boost and be able to keep, keep it, give it enough oomph to keep up with these bows. So again, 525 grains. I'm pulling about 26 and a half inches, but let's see what kind of speeds we get out of this bow. 154. We 
we got a duplicate and I hit the other knock. That's saying something. So let's just put the third arrow through and see what we get. Again, we're dropping weight, but we're gaining speed. Carbon limbs. Uh, all these are reflex, deflex, longbows. But you get what you pay for. One fifty three. So again, not all longbows are created equal. If you have any questions, hit me up. I personally like my arrow traveling around 150 feet per second. I know that arch very well, and that's where I want to be shooting. Um, I actually adjusted my arrow speed, I mean, just my arrow weight and everything to try to get that same essentially trajectory out of all my bows. All right, y'all have a good day.